What's up everyone? This week I wanted to give you guys a first look at the One Step 2, a new instant film camera from Polaroid Originals. The first One Step came out in 1977, so I figured I'd give you a comparison of the two and first impressions on the new camera. So first, the design. The two looks like a sleeker, younger cousin of the original. And I got the matte gray, which I personally like, but it comes in white too. With the One Step 2, you get a brand new viewfinder that's about three times the size of the original, which makes it a lot easier to look through and take a photo. The LED lights on the top show how many photos remain, replacing the numbering system used on the original One Step. The One Step 2 offers a built-in battery and shoots about 17 packs of film before dying. Then it'll take you two hours to fully recharge. The nice part about having a rechargeable battery is your film is cheaper. Polaroid Originals came out with a new film alongside this camera called iType, which is basically just SX70 film without integrated power. This camera has a new lens which claims to be sharper, and it has a built-in flash. That means no more trying to find expensive GE flash bars that only have five pot flashes in the first place. The two features a self-timer button, allowing you to take selfies with no hands after eight seconds. It also has a flash override button in case you're not trying to blind anyone or if the natural light is sufficient. There's a standard tripod mount at the bottom, something that lacked from the original one step. If you don't want blurry photos, this is a great feature for shooting landscapes at dusk. Shooting with the One Step 2 versus the One Step is much easier. The flash doesn't blind your subjects compared to the old flash bars, the film count is way easier to read, and it takes a lot less time to develop your film. Alright, so right now I'm going to set up the backdrop for this sh little mini shoot that I'm doing for the Polaroid One Step 2. Uh, I have a friend, Kiara, coming over. I'll link her Instagram down below if you want to follow her. She's going to help me out today. We're going to shoot some portraits with a, a backdrop against this wall. So, let's do it. Alright, so change of plans. Uh, I got the wrong tape. So, we're going to have to do it just against the wall. That's alright. Next time. I'd say the iType film versus the SX70 film is a no-brainer with color. Plus, the lens is a lot sharper on the One Step 2, and it handles accurate exposure more frequently. It still has that great retro, not super perfect look that everyone wants for their Instagram feeds, but it does it in a way that's much easier than the original camera. Not only that, but the original camera is around $60, so if you just throw another $40 and get the One Step 2, You'll have a better camera and spend less on film packs. Comment below on your opinion of this camera. I think it's pretty rad and a great addition to my collection. If you like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you next week.